10 command line shortcuts that will change your life. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, DeWine. And today, what I want to do is give you something special. We're in my home lab, and I am in my router one. The first thing that I want to do is clear this screen. As you can see, R1, and my cursor is blinking. The blinking thing is called a cursor, so whenever I reference anything called a cursor, it's the blinking thing that is always after whatever you're typing. All right, so first on the list is gonna be control A. So if I'm in interface gig zero zero, and I wanna see my access list, I can't do show IP access list because it's not gonna work. But if I up arrow, control A, type do, space, now I can run the command. See, pretty simple. That's control A, and I gave you a bonus with the do command. Next on the list, control E. So, you up arrow, and you control A. But, now you have to arrow all the way right to get to the end of the line. So, if you hit control E, that'll take you to the end of the line. Next on the list is going to be escape B. Let's say I'm going through and I'm typing IP route router EIGRP and I'll type the whole thing out. So it really should be router EIGRP. What I need to do is delete IP. Now, as we learned before, I can do a control A and take me back to the beginning of the line or I can do escape B. It'll take me back to the first character in the previous word. And as you can see, I went back and now I just hit the backspace and that'll delete IP. So I can do a control E to get back to that line and do whatever number that's needed to be done. Boom, so that's that. Now, next on the list is going to be escape F. So if you do escape B for back, and it takes you there, in order to go forward, you'll go escape F. And that's how you go forward. So in each time, you have to press it at the same time. You can't hold down escape and press B, because that won't work, or F, that won't work. Now, next on the li list is going to be Control D. <laughs> this we'll stay right here, and, and we'll talk about this. So, if I do, let's say I miss type of character, and I do 23, and I realize it didn't work. So up arrow takes me to the history, and I do Escape B to take me back, and I arrow over to what I want to delete, and I'm on top of it. If you hit your Delete key on the keyboard, that's what it does. So that's not really right. But if you do control D, now you can delete the character. And for years, I couldn't figure that out. And I never really looked it up. I just thought you couldn't do it. But rather than hitting delete on your keyboard to delete a character in the CLI, you hit control D to delete that character. Man, and that's, oh my goodness. Okay, next up on the list is control U. This one is so dope to me um control you if i had this command here and i do control you it'll erase the line which is dope <laughs> so now we delete a line we deleted a line we deleted a character now if we go back let's say i want to delete one word so if we do control w i can delete a whole word so if i start typing out router E I and I and I mistyped the word. I can do Control W, delete that whole word rather than backspacing, which leads us to the next command on the list. Tab. Tab completion. Tab completion is so dope. You start typing a config, and so I type router, and then I can just tab E I G R P. Which here's another bonus. Let's say you're in here and you know the command is route or something or is it route, you can't remember. So if you start typing it and put a question mark after it, now it'll show you, okay, everything with R-O. Now, every command with R in that global configuration. So the question mark along with tab completion can help you figure out what commands you need to run or how to complete a command. So if I'm doing IP, all right, and I want to configure IP route, but I can't remember if it's routing, router, or what, 
Now, if I do IP and I do a, uh, um, a question mark, this will show me all the commands that I can run with in conjunction with IP. So, okay, it's with the R. Now, question mark, okay, it's either route or routing. So you start typing, okay. Now it's either route or routing, route. And then you just kind of finish out your command from there. That's question mark and tab all in one. Bonus. Now, next is one of my favorites that I often use because I fat finger a lot. Let's say you're tracing a connection to Google. But I don't have a connection to the internet, so this is going to time out, and we're just going to have to wait and wait and wait. In order to end this, you want to hit Control shift 6 on your keyboard, and that will cancel out your pings and your trace routes if you are, if you don't have a connection or if you, it's just timing out. That will cancel out, otherwise you'll be waiting for it to completely time out which can take forever sometimes. So, that was Control Shift 6. Next on the list, and is my favorite command or shortcut that I use the most out of all of them, is Control Z. Now, let's say I'm in an interface and I configure this interface, and I give it an IP address. We're just gonna assign it an IP address randomly, not really randomly, but it's connected to my ASA. The ASA is the gateway for this network. So I gave it 1.5 as an IP address. Now, in order for me to get back to previous exec mode, I'll type escape, then I'll type escape again, and that's just too much typing. I can hit Control Z on my keyboard, and that will take me all the way back to previous exec mode. That is dope. Look, I done gave y'all 10 commands, and a bonus, and another bonus, and some more bonuses. I done gave y'all some great information if you want to apply it apply it i'll have a link in the description to some more shortcuts if you got any questions hit the comment section below i plan to do more of these so if you enjoyed it let me know um i really want to see you all succeed we're gonna do some more in the home lab i'm gonna catch you on the next one like subscribe comment and i'm gonna get it y'all peace